there what's up everybody this is your nutritionist on the go Kamal Deep Singh Ochla from Edu Diet Nutrition and today I'm making this video to talk about cholesterol yes the cholesterol that has been blamed for decades that it causes the number one killer of the world that is cardiovascular diseases or heart diseases or heart attacks so we are going to talk about this I'm going to give you some facts about cholesterol and what it does in our body and then we will give a thought of how cholesterol became the super villain of our modern health epidemic disease center so without further ado let's start with the facts 3000 milligrams of cholesterol is produced by almost all the cells of our body and majority of this cholesterol comes from our liver so why is our body producing cholesterol see cholesterol is a fatty acid which is essential for life it has so many important roles but a couple of decades ago there was this whole blame game played by the heart associations of the world so i'll, I'll tell you the brief beginning of these uh, of these claims it all started whenever a person suffered a heart attack uh, the cardiologist the doctors they actually took a blood sample right after the heart attack and what they saw a, saw, saw a common trend was high elevated levels of serum cholesterol high cholesterol in blood, blood. So what they said is that maybe high cholesterol is the reason that the person got the heart attack in the first place. I want to just give you an example, an analogy, or I just be with me here for a minute. Imagine you're going out of your home. You go out of your home and right about the corner of your home, you see a house on fire. Okay, a house that has been lit on fire. And now the fire has been controlled. So who are the people standing outside the house? they will be the firemen, right? You go down to the next street, you go down to a couple of blocks, a couple of kilometers away from your home, you see some another shop on fire. You see another building on fire. Who is going to be standing outside? Firemen, the fire brigade. Now taking these three examples, if I conclude that wherever fire is present, firemen are there. So does the firemen cause these fires? Are they igniting the fires? Same incident, the same thing happened with cholesterol. Cholesterol was blamed for just being on the crime scene, for being in an elevated form during a heart attack. So cholesterol was immediately blamed, whereas the firemen are trying to put off the fire. They are not the arsonists. They are trying to put off the fire. They're trying to control the damage. Cholesterol was trying to control the damage, but it got picked up. It got blamed on. So because a couple of decades ago, we did not have much understanding about nutrition, so we started blaming on cholesterol. And what that gave rise to? Changes in the guidelines, okay, changes in the health guidelines. The heart associations, they issued the recommended intake of fats should be less than this and this gram. So what that did to the whole food culture of the country was the amount of fats decreased, especially the fats containing good amounts of saturated fats and cholesterol, they decreased. And what increases it? Grains and carbohydrates and refined flours and other byproducts of grains and carbohydrates, okay? So this whole scenario changed when we started consuming less fats, we became fat dreading people and we started consuming more and more of carbohydrates. Where has it brought us in three, four decades? It has brought us to an epidemic of heart disease, to an epidemic of obesity and diabetes, all coming from a high carbohydrate, high grain, high refined flour diet. So if the guidelines were true in the first place, that if you reduce the fat fats, you might be saved from cardiovascular diseases, but that's not the case. It's quite the opposite. So as I was already telling you guys, 3000 milligrams of cholesterol is made in our own body. If body does not want cholesterol, if cholesterol is actually bad, if the cholesterol is the villain, why is our body producing so much cholesterol? Because cholesterol is there to help. It acts as a bandage. It acts for recovering the damage that has been occurring in our arteries due to inflammation. Okay, now 3000 milligrams of cholesterol every day that is equivalent to about more than one kg of clarified butter or desi ghee. 
okay? 100 gram serving, uh, 100 gram of desi ghee contains about uh, 280 milligrams of cholesterol. An egg yolk contains 180 grams of cholesterol. That's it. Our body produces so much cholesterol. Now, if you do not consume cholesterol, the 100% cholesterol that your body requires has to be made by your body. That stresses out our adrenals, that stresses out our cells, that stresses out our liver because now they are under constant pressure to produce more and more and more cholesterol and they are not getting the raw material from the diet. And suppose what happens if you eat some amount of good healthy cholesterol in a good healthy combination in a good healthy way, your body will have to produce less cholesterol. Isn't that wonderful for your body? You are not stressing out your organs for cholesterol. You are having one third of the cholesterol from your diet and rest comes from your body. It is a perfect scenario. So fact number two, we live in a community who is fat fearing, okay? We don't think that fats are healthy for us. Why? Because we don't know what our body requires. Our brain is made up of 70% of fats. How do you think we are going to repair the daily wear and tear of the neurons and, and myelin sheath and our nervous system? Our brain is constituent of 20% of cholesterol. Our myelin sheath that protects our nerves, our neurons, all these things are made from cholesterol, from good healthy fats. Our heart is covered in a layer, in an envelope of fat that protects it from shocks. Our kidneys are covered with fat. Majority of our organs are covered with fat. There is no cell in our body that does not use cholesterol. Every cell, every cell membrane of every cell is made of cholesterol. So cholesterol is not a villain. Cholesterol is a superhero. So let's talk about some other functions of cholesterol. Well, it helps in production of bile. Bile juices that help digest the fats in our food. If we do not have enough bile, we are not going to able to extract the fat soluble vitamins from our meals like vitamin A, like vitamin K, K1, K2. We cannot absorb vitamin E. We will become deficient in vitamin D if we do not have enough cholesterol because when we sit in the sun, when, our, when the sun's rays hit on our body, our cells need cholesterol to make that vitamin D. Now vitamin D acts as a hormone in our body. So if we do not have cholesterol, we are not going to have a healthy vitamin D levels and healthy fat soluble vitamin levels. Last and not the least, we talk about hormones which are majority made from fatty acids and cholesterol plays a very big part in cortisol, in our, in our adrenal hormones, our stress hormones. It plays a huge part in our sex hormones if we talk about testosterone in men and we talk about estrogen in women. So now that we have established the fact that dietary cholesterol is not bad, in fact it supports our body and even if we do not eat any amount of cholesterol, our body will keep on producing cholesterol. Okay, so cholesterol is not a bad thing, but if the cholesterol levels are high in our blood serum, that is not generally a good thing. Cholesterol has repair properties, has the anti-damaging properties, anti-inflammatory properties. So if the cholesterol levels in the blood are high, are significantly high, that means something is wrong about your diet, something is wrong about your lifestyle, or there are certain factors which are causing some disturbances in your body which are not good for you. So you need to see across the table. You have to look beyond the cholesterol fear and analyze what's wrong in your diet to correct that higher levels of cholesterol. Now, higher levels of cholesterol can be coming from any steroid that you are using from an exogenous sources. It can be coming from stress, it can be coming from an injury, an accident or a surgery. But sometimes when the weather changes, prominently in winters, the serum cholesterol levels rise. Okay, so guys, cholesterol is a vital part of our human body. If I pull out all the cholesterol from your body, you are going to die in minutes. There will be no new cell formation. Your body is not going to prepare your brain, your nerves, your immune system is going to collapse and you will be dead in minutes. So let's enjoy and befriend cholesterol. I'll see you guys next time.